Jack, what makes a guy get bored in a dating situation? That's an excellent question. The answer is questions like that. Look, this long distance is hard. And now Carol and I haven't talked in like five days, and my other stuff is still unresolved. Uh, I get it, Lemon. You need to see a therapist, someone you can dump your problems on and then get on with your uh, life. Ugh, I'm trying. I just can't find someone I like. I mean, have you ever been to a shrink? No. I believe that when you have a problem, you talk it over with your priest or your tailor or the mute elevator porter at your men's club, then you take that problem and crush it with your mind vice. But for lesser beings like curly-haired men and people who need glasses, therapy can help. And Lemon, I want you to get better. Because, and I mean this, I'm tired of talking this much to a woman I'm not having sex with. Captain Burnett called earlier, Miss Lemon. Finally. Not that it matters. We're turtles. He said he doesn't have cell phone service because he's on layover in Daytona Beach. But don't worry, he's fine and having a great time with his flight crew. Uh, Stuart, Brenda, Amber, Crystal. Also in the background, I heard lady giggles and the sound of a beautiful sunset. See, this is why I need to find someone to talk to. Talk to about what? Men, trust, I mean, I just feel like sometimes men aren't totally honest with me. Go oh. on. Well, for starters, everyone I ever dated in high school turned out to be either gay or a girl dressed as a guy to get a journalism scholarship. You know, ever since we had our little talk yesterday, I've been doing some thinking. Oh, good. If I remember correctly, we were discussing men and trust. Yeah, and it got me thinking about my Aunt Linda. What was she like? Great, until she got divorced. My Uncle Harry was cheating on her. Another male betrayal. Go with that. My parents used to make me go to Linda's house just so she'd have company. I hated those visits. Your uncle never liked my cooking. But you do, right, Elizabeth? You love your Aunt Linda. Here's a fun game. Put on Harry's cologne and give me a back rub in the bath. <laughs> To this day, whenever I hear someone's getting divorced, I can still taste that egg, and I... Oh my god. My trust issues and my food issues are connected. Uncle Harold is the reason eggs make me gag. Kenneth, you're the perfect therapist. I can dump all of my problems on you, walk away, and move on with my life. It's a win-win. Why did she have to say Harold? Jack! I found a therapist and I've made some big breakthroughs. I know you don't know what this means, but I'm eating eggs again. I know it means this conversation is disgusting. <laughs> I have this recurring dream. Actually, is it recurring if you wake yourself up with a <sighs> and then return to it? Anyway, in the dream, I'm a baby. But and my parents also left me really on the top hurt. of the car by accident. And we're being chased oh, through oh, a canonic car. I, the, I think it has to do with my issues with sex. Lemon, what are you doing? Is Kenneth your therapist? Well, kind of. He can't handle that. Look at his head shape. He has no brain pan. It's fine, Mr. Donaghy. I'm OK. And so am I. I'm Cheryl. This is exactly why I told you to see a professional. You dump your problems on some half-baked Barney Fife, and you can start a chain reaction of mental anguish. Look what you've done to him. But, but he's such a good listener, and he takes my insurance. Ow. I'm going to help you. Lie down. Put your mental burden in my mind, Vice, and I will crush it. Kenneth, who is Harold? He was a role model of mine growing up. Please let Harold be human. Harold was a pig. You see, my father passed when I was just a young boy. After that, I was alone a lot and awful sad, but that pig saved me. In some ways, Harold was the only thing I had that was like a father. You had a void to fill. Continue. Then one day, my mama told me we had to sell him. I knew what that meant. Harold was off to the slaughterhouse. I know it's difficult. I'm not done, sir. It gets worse. With Harold gone, there was nothing keeping me at home. It was time for me to move to New York and follow my dreams. But I needed $300 for the River Ferry train ox cart train bus ticket. 
And that's when I saw the sign. I knew I could win that contest. Well, I once ate an entire witch. A pig was nothing. And then they brought me mine. I would have recognized those eyes anywhere. Kenneth, no. It was Harold, and I ate all of him. Even the face in case of a tie. Good God! I ate him, sir! I ate my father pig! <laughs> okay, or you gave his death meaning. His sacrifice made you what you are today, which is the lowest level employee at the last place network in America. I guess that is true. Thank you, sir. I'll think on that. And you're sure you're OK hearing about all my problems? <laughs> of course. I'm Jack Donaghy. <sighs> oh, no. Crush it! Oh, God! Here comes my childhood!